Ark of Freedom, His Spirit was born. Thara, they named him Thara. Like the wind, like the wind that is free. Thara, they named him Thara. To be king of the bush, his destiny. In the secret mountain veins, through the mist and ancient trees. Like horse so proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara. And a king, yes, a king he will be. used to what is around us, the big things, like the territory we live in, its moods and joys and terrors, and the little things, where we eat, who we see, who we like and don't like very much. <laughs> what we do on a regular basis, so used to it that we don't even think about it, until we might have to leave it all behind, go somewhere new, Find out about the moods of a new territory. Meet new friends, start new habits. Arrow was spending the afternoon trying to decide whether he'd been a bit too bold when he told Gunda he would accompany her on her journey south. Arrow, Arrow, so forlorn. You've not looked so sad since the day you were born. You'd be sad too, Mopoke, if you were me. If I were you, I wouldn't be silly. I'd make friends with a local filly. But no, not Arrow, had to boast. Forgot about things he'd missed the most. How did you read my thoughts? <laughs> yeah, well, I had to. I mean, who else could she ask? Who else is brave and strong enough to do it? It's a long way, South. Lots of dangers along the way. Thara? No way. <laughs> Too selfish. Has to be me. In the morning, Goondra will come up to me and beg me to accompany her, and I'll go. Leave my friends, the place where I was born, and just go. Arrow, arrow, your mind's so narrow. Sometimes I think of the brains of a sparrow. <laughs> yeah? Well, that's all right for you. I'd like to see how brave you were if you had to make the choice. <laughs> arrow, arrow, think, be wise. You'll be all right. You'll acclimatize. <laughs> There are rumours of the ghost horse being seen again, Echo. We gotta check it out. be very annoyed if you didn't. And we missed you. But I must go back tomorrow. There's news to spread about you and family to look after. I know. I will come back, Gunda. Really, I will. When I'm needed. And I'll be a good leader. Sarah will teach me and I'll do my duty. I know you will, little one. You'll make us all very proud. But now I'm going to get some rest. I've got a big journey tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know that I can help you, Arrow. I don't know much about the South. Oh, anything? All I know I've heard from cousins. It's flatter down there. No mountains and big rivers, and it doesn't snow in winter. And there are lots of different creatures to those that live around here. <clears throat> Do you think I should go? 
Nobody will tell me. I've spoken to so many. That's probably because it's not up to their marrow. They can't make the decision for you. Whatever the future brings, it's in your hands. I suppose so. Thanks, Mrs Dingo. But all this thinking really hurts. Good luck. Wombat, are you in there? Oh, nobody home. Oh, you'll do, Skink. Oh, do, do you reckon there's a mean Brumby like the Brolga down south? Only bigger and stronger? Of course I can beat the Brolga, goes without saying. But if there's someone bigger, oh, I don't know. I wouldn't want to go if it's going to be too hard. What do you reckon? Hey! How do you like that? The manners of some creatures. <laughs> the manners of some creatures is right. Blocking me way into me own home. Wombat? Out of me way. Out of me way. Wombat, I'm thinking of going south. And I'm thinking of going to bed. Out of my way. If I go... Will you miss me? I'll miss you like a hole in the head. Master, master. your space! What? <laughs> what? Where am I? <laughs> oh no! The frog is hurt! from the brogger by the man. I'm not safe anywhere. <laughs> oh, I hate to admit it, Farron, but I guess all this will be yours one day. And if it's yours, it can't be mine. for your help. Without you, I would have searched for Eurala forever and maybe never found him. Now I won't have to return with no news. Speaking of Eurala, where is he? He should be here to see you off. Well, we sort of said goodbye yesterday. Maybe this is his way of showing me that he's independent now. Maybe. Or perhaps he just couldn't bear the final goodbye. <laughs> that could be it too. Just give him my love, Boon Boon. And tell him I can't wait to see him when he's ready to rejoin us. Well, thanks again, everyone. I'd better make a start. Mm.
Sparrow's not here either. Is he going to keep you company on the journey south, Gunda? I thought about it long and hard. I got here without any trouble. I think I can manage at home by myself. Perhaps Arrow came to the same conclusion. He's strong and fast, but from what I've seen, I don't know how well he'd fit in. He's... Maybe someday, when he's more mature. Yes, that's it. Bye. Oh, you come along to say goodbye, and the someone you come along to say goodbye to is standing in the way. I do apologise, Wombat. Thank you, but I really must go. Yeah, that'd be right, that'd be right. Just because I turn up, you take off. It's not like that at all, Wombat, and you know it. Now say your farewell and let her get on her way. Oh, boy. Bye, Wombat. We will meet again. Bye. Bye. Safe journey. Arrow, Arrow, still forlorn. Haven't you noticed it's way past dawn? Right. What? If you want to follow your heart, get a move on, make a start. Past dawn? Gunda! Oh, I must have overslept. See you, Mopok. <laughs> Gunda? Yeah. Who else? She's already left, Arrow. Gone? She went alone? I thought she needed an escort. Uh, when you weren't here, she thought you must have, um, changed your mind. Well, if she just waited, I could have told her that I'd spent all night thinking about it. And I decided I really want to go south. Face new challenges, see different things. Perhaps you didn't convince her of your outstanding qualities, Arrow. Oh, do you reckon? No, I tried. You did, Arrow. Maybe I should go after her. Yeah, that's it. Good idea. Show her your resourcefulness and hear for yourself what she thinks. Exactly what I was thinking, Benny. Gotta go, guys. My future awaits me elsewhere. And so does a lovely filly. Good luck, Thera. See you, guys! Why did you encourage him, Benny? <laughs> you heard what Gunda said about him. Because it's not our place to tell him the facts. Probably wouldn't believe us even if we did. Exactly, Boon Boon. He must hear it from her, as unpalatable as that might be. He may actually convince her to change her mind. Do you really think so? It's unlikely, but he'll learn something just by trying. Hmm, these tracks are fresh, Echo. <laughs> patience, boy, patience. <laughs> My sister, Gunda, where is she? She's gone, Urella. Back home. She can't have. I haven't said goodbye properly. She waited, Urella, but thought you were showing her how independent you are. But I was going to surprise her down by the bottom of the ram's head. She might have turned down the track to the river. Remember, I showed you. Oh, I forgot. Now you'll think I'm stupid and I won't see my sister. Nobody thinks you're stupid, Urella. Now, why don't you go after her? She won't have gone far, and you can say goodbye then. That's a good idea, you are. Tell you what, I'll come with you. Mm, thanks, Thara, but this is something I've got to do by myself. Right. Off you go, then. We'll wait here till you get back. She must be around here somewhere. Cooey! 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 Oh, she can't have gone too far. 
She must be... Aha! There she is! Gunda! Wait for me! Oh, I'm confused. That was one of the first things Thaura taught me. I should have been looking for landmarks. Can't stop now or I'll never catch up. I'll find Gunda. I can do it. A lone foal could lead us to the herd. Get up, boy. I missed you. You should have waited. Arrow, it's... You shouldn't have come. I'm quite all right. I... There, there, there. It'll be all right now. Arrow's here to protect you. No time to lose. Let's go. Listen, Arrow, I... Listen? I'm listening, Goonda. That's me, Arrow. <laughs> all ears. Catch the slightest sound. Alert. Swift. It's how I survive. I'm sure it is, but I don't need any... Don't need a lesson in how to survive. But a filly like you, well, you need someone strong and brave, you know, in case of any unexpected trouble. That's just what I don't need. Don't need unexpected trouble? Who does? That's why I'm here. <laughs> uh... tell, tell, tell you what, I'll gallop ahead a little, scout out the way. Oh, really, Arrow? I... No need to thank me. Back soon. Oops. <laughs> Arrow, are you all right? Look, I really don't need any help. <laughs> no sweat, Goonda. I'm as good as gold. Back soon. <laughs> Arrow's always in such a hurry. Pity his mind is all in a flurry. Scamper, scoot, don't think, just scurry. There's a horse that's truly a worry. <laughs> You're right, Mopoke. But what are you doing here? I miss your departure, if truth's to tell. So I flew along to say farewell. Thanks, Mopoke. But I wish I could get someone else to say farewell. He just doesn't get any hints. Hmm. Everything seems safe. I'll go back and get Goonda. don't know what to do. Arrow's a problem, there is no doubt. He can be such a bore when he hangs about. Gunda, I found you at last. Yurana! Yeah! Yurana, the man! Look out! of you, smart Alec. Oh! 
you for leading the man away like that. Bravery to the point where you were almost captured. Huh? It would be an honor to have you escort me south to the land of my father. <laughs> I'm glad we had a chance to say goodbye properly. So am I. Now you'd better get back, and I'd better be on my way again. Yes, well, there's just one problem. Problem? I kind of lost my way. I don't know how to get back. Oh, no trouble there, Yorella. I know this high country better than anyone. Better than Thaura? Thaura? <laughs> oh, much better than him. <laughs> Come on, back to the stream. I'll point you in the right direction. There you go, Yorella. Just follow the stream to the next bend, look north, and you'll see the ram's head. Just aim for that. Thanks, Arrow. Thanks, sis. Bye again, and I'll see you both soon. <laughs> Bye. Safe journey, little brother. OK, Goonda. Let's head south! <laughs> so Arrow finally won the day. And for the time being, the friendship of a beautiful, intelligent filly. One filly leaves the high country, but soon another will return. A golden filly, long gone. Return to renew her friendships and find out for herself if there is truth in the rumors she has heard on the plains. As time passes, our memories of times past grow stronger. Memories of good times swell to thoughts of how perfect those moments were, how remarkable, how exciting. So it was with Golden. And happy though she was, back with the man and his care and kindness, she could not help thinking about her time with Thaura's herd and the friend she had left behind. It's all right, girl. It's just me. Your old injury's pretty much cleared up, Golden. What do you think? Golden, keep up. It's too dangerous to be separated. We can't rest yet. We must keep going. <laughs> Golden! <laughs> There, there, girl. I didn't mean to upset you. Just take it easy. Calm down. Calm down. I'll tell you what. 
I'll saddle you up a bit later and we'll take a run up into the hills. I reckon you'd enjoy that, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. We'll head off straight after breakfast. Hello, hello, hello. Hmm. So, Goldilocks is back at the man's hut, eh? <laughs> Pining away for her beloved Sarah, no doubt. Yoo-hoo, Golden. <laughs> Long time no see. I've been in the low country for months. The man brought me back up last week. Oh, the man brought me back up last week. You won't have heard the news about Thara then. What news? How is he? Well, <laughs> you know how they call him the ghost horse. Uh, yes. That's what they call him. Well, according to rumour, <laughs> that's exactly what he's become. What? A ghost? Dead? I don't believe it. Echo would have told me if such a thing had happened. Echo? <laughs> what would he know? That nag's not too bright if you ask me. His name kind of suits him. He's just an echo of the real thing, so to speak. <laughs> Really got them both going. <laughs> what is it? Animal, mineral, or vegetable? But how could you not tell me, Echo? I can't believe it. I'm sorry, Golden. You were still getting over your wounds from the beast. I've been waiting for the right moment. I see. But I would rather have heard it from you than that wretched Currawong. How did it happen? It was some time ago now. We came across Thaura some distance from the ram's head. And the chase was on. This warrants further investigation. No sign of the ram's head yet, mate. No, but we're making good time. There's a good stiff breeze carrying us along. <laughs> Just think, <laughs> we'll be the first to cross the high country by balloon. <laughs> oh, look at that. We won't cross into them unless we can gain altitude. <laughs> you say something, mate? Nope. Is it my imagination, or are we not getting any higher? Blimey, something's up. We must have sprung a leak. Hey, hey, look up there. I can see flaming daylight. Oh, no. <laughs> I'd better report this outrage to the boss. I'll give her full power. That should keep us alive. Yeah, but do we have enough gas to maintain full power? I don't know. But we have no choice. Now just hang on and say your prayers. I want to go home. Oh, 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 your masterful magnificence. A most mortifying experience has befallen your most humble and obedient servant. Uh -huh. Men creatures, your sumptuous superbness, have invaded the high country once again. And what's so remarkable about that? Flying men, sire. I kid you not. Flying men? Have you been drinking fermented honey again, Karawong? Oh, no, 
Oh, sire, no, 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 I promise. They were in this big, big round thing in the sky, you see, and suddenly it shot out this flame, and there I was, flapping about inside it on fire. Then I burst out fire and smoke all about me, and, well, with great cleverness and cunning, I dived into a pool, extinguishing all the flames, What and... are you talking about, Karawang? Do you expect me to believe a tale like that without proof? Well, I... I want proof, you flighty feather brain. Proof? Oh, but uh, how? Proof, I said. Now get going. Proof? Uh, yes. Well, uh... <laughs> Get going! <laughs> proof, 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 proof. <laughs> Blimey, we'll lose an altitude, mate. We'll have to throw everything we can overboard to lose weight. Now start bailing. I can't believe Thare is gone. He must be out there somewhere. If only there was some way I could escape. I could search for him, see for myself that he's safe. Uh, proof. The mighty Brogger wants proof, eh? Well, that's it, mate. Everything's over we can possibly spare. There is one thing more that can go. No! Not be gone! No, no, anything but that! It's either you or the bazooka, mate. <laughs> no! Proof. Scarcely holding our own, mate. And there's nothing more that can go over. But my gun! My beautiful gun! soul. I am beholden. A face from the past. Is that you, Golden? It is, Mopoke. It's good to see you. Um, what news of Thaura? Oh, he runs, he plays, he frolics mostly. Around the mountains, swift and ghostly. Ghostly? Mopoke, what, what do you mean? What? What? Oh, too hard to hear. I cannot stay. We'll talk some more another day. Mopoke, come back! I must keep searching.
thought he was alive. He looked alive to me. And me. Only this morning he was speaking to me. And me. Oh, and you. Indeed. Have to be alive to speak to us. Oh, most definitely. Wasn't that horse beautiful? Oh, beautiful and golden. But wasn't her name beautiful? Yes, it was. She was golden. And beautiful. But what was her name? Let's follow and find out. <laughs> We better wipe this one out, boy. Blimey, mate. That ground looks as though it's getting closer. Gas is up full. There's nothing I can do. You and your dumb flaming ideas. This is another nice mess you've gotten us into. Me? This was your idea, mate. When you was flying that kite, wouldn't it be great to go up in a hot air balloon, you said? Oh, yeah. Just a joy trip, I meant. Not a flaming marathon from Turak to Timbuktu. It was your idea to... Look out! Oh, get me out of here! Help! Phew. That was a close shave. We're safe, mate. Safe? We're about as safe as we were on that jetty when your ute went down like the Titanic. to be aware of lightning. It is rumoured to be rather frightening. Oh, lightning doesn't worry us, Mobuck. Yes, we're big brave emus. Ah! 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 <laughs> lightning is known to be rather unkind to those who leave an explosion behind. <laughs> ah! Oh, my tail feathers are feeling rather hot. Oh, just my luck. That's my lot. overhangs to shelter from the rain and little chance of lightning striking down here. Hmm? I said, oh, it doesn't matter. What are you doing? Huh? Sorry, Boom Boom. Something's going on through the storm. Can you hear it? Listen. Can you hear that? Uh, no. Not a thing. There it is again. A, a cry for help. I can hear it on the wind. I've got to go, Boom Boom. See what it is. Do you want me to come? No, nope. stay here with the others. Keep your eye on the stream. It may flood. You'll have to lead the others to higher ground. I'll be back as soon as I can. Dara, be careful. You speed so helter skelter. You should be in the secret valley taking shelter. Well, that'd be more sensible, Mopok. But I thought I heard a cry for help on the wind. Maybe I imagined it. A voice that's scared but rich like gold. A filly that's beautiful to behold. Rich like gold? Beautiful? You can't mean golden. She's on the plains with the man. Oh no, that's not right. I saw the lightning give her quite a fright. Golden. Golden's in trouble. Thanks, Mopoke. Catch you later. Power is off, brave and bold, to save the filly colored gold. <laughs>
okay, I think. Thanks to you. Ah, oh, Zara! Look! Up there! What is it? I don't know, Golden. It's something man-made for sure. And headed for disaster from the look of it. Let's follow. Yeah! More gas, mate! More gas! There is no more gas, mate! She's flat out! Come on, boy. Time to resume the search. So good. Me head still feels as though thunder's rumbling through it. How about you? I twisted angle, I reckon. Blimey, that's no good. And uh where are we? Right smack dab in the middle of nowhere, with no way out. Oh, but there must be. All our food went over the side. I'm hungry already. Wouldn't you know it? That floating thing was just another intrusion by those trappers. Hmm, so I see. Well, they've got themselves into a fine old mess this time. Typical. Quite unable to look after themselves. One bad storm and down they've come. Useless. So you think they deserve to be stranded down there? Well, it was their own fault, wasn't it? If man had been meant to fly, he would have been born with wings. Like Mopoke or... <coughs> or Kurawan, the Brolder's spy. So the mighty Brolder wants proof, eh? I'll give him proof. And I'll have revenge for my burnt tail feathers as well. <laughs> hey! Hey, mate, look at this! Hey! You flaming flea bitten feather brain! Hey, what do you think you're doing? Did you see that? Attacked by that no good spying Karawan. <laughs> as much as I despise those trappers, they definitely look like they need help. Yes, but what can we do? If only I could get the man here somehow. He could bring help. Mopoke. Mopoke. Hi, Mopoke. What's up? The man's not far off, as you shall see, if you care to follow me. The man? He thinks I'm dead and I want to keep it that way. The man's my friend. Lead the way, Mopoke. That storm's washed away all signs of tracks. <laughs> Perfectly. <laughs> Thanks, Thara. The man will bring help. Hopefully those trappers won't be back again, ever. And most importantly, it's good to have you back, Golden. It's good to be back. And to see you again. But... But? I'm sorry, Thara. Much as I miss the high country, I only escaped because I heard you were dead. Well, I probably would be if it weren't for you. Thanks for saving me. <laughs> My pleasure. But now I belong to the man and his way of life. I can never be a wild Brumby. I must return with him. I understand, Golden. I'll miss you, but y you must decide for yourself what to do. Goodbye, Thara. Bye, Golden. We shall meet again. So Golden returned to the man, 
and the comfort and protection he gave her. And Thaura learned that a filly could be every bit as brave and courageous as any stallion could hope to be. As for the trappers, one wonders if they will ever learn that the high country is not a place for them. But luckily the storm that brought the trappers was the last the high country creatures would see for a long time. However, storms are not the only danger that Thara and his friends need to be wary of.